So when I first picked up this TBS Fusion module, I was super excited about it. I flew around the house a lot, my usual stuff, not really doing the whole mid long range thing anymore. Played with the lap timer, smashed the quad, all that kind of stuff. I'll put that video up here if you want to take a look at it. But then the first time I really wanted to stretch its wings and just see exactly what it would do. I took my quad off into the air and I got this. And that was with this, the upgraded hardware board that Team Black Sheep sells to go with the TBS Fusion module, which is supposed to make it more sensitive. I think many of you, like myself, have watched the Bardwell video where he's flying around inside a garage saying that the Fusion is now on par with the Rapid Fire. And I kind of still stand by that video and the video that I made. If you are flying around yourself within a close proximity. I do believe the Fusion feed looks pretty good in most cases. I'll show you one case where it does not. But right now, from my experience, it is just unpredictable. You do not know what is going on with this thing. I've tried two different boards. I sent one back to Brain FPV for them to check out. I'm sure they're going to figure it out, but when it comes to flying, you have to be able to see the whole reason why I haven't went with DJI because it is just not predictable plus I can't afford it but here I am now back in the rapid fire camp and I tell you like rapid fire immersion RC really has it figured out as far as what's going on If you look under the official Immersion RC Rapid Fire group, you'll see people talking about things like black screen, rolling screen, stuff like that. A lot of that stuff has to do with the fat sharks. I've experienced the black screen myself, even with the fusion. I think fat shark just basically pulled one over on all of this and the OLED technology they have just isn't up to par or it needs more power or something and that's why we get those black screens every once in a while it really sucks when you're flying but one of the big things you'll see tony saying time after time that people just kind of blow off is incompatibilities cameras vtx's things like that not made to certain standards and i used to think that was all hocus pocus and i never quite understood why some things would work in rapid fire mode one and some things would only work in rapid fire mode two until i flew fusion and i didn't have that choice i either had fusion or old school i'll show you this example here of flying a fully built basically tbs brain fpv quad with the radix osd the pro nano 30 no the pro 32 running at full power the ethics CCD Mr. Steel camera. I'll show you that on both goggle modules and how each of them behave. I always run my rapid fire in mode two, which basically according to everybody in the world gives you about 90% of the performance of rapid fire without all of the glitches. And you'll see here that the fusion module just could not cope with what was going on, but the rapid fire module could. So TBS upgraded this Fusion hardware upgrade board, which like I said, I've had two of these now and neither one of them perform the way that it should. They do look a little bit better close in, but you know, when you go out, things just start falling to pieces. They just literally just is unflyable and unpredictable. So they've done this with the Fusion, they've done this with the Tango too. So I don't really know what's going on there. If they're just all of a sudden developing better stuff, 
to try to give to us or if they've changed suppliers and they're having problems with manufacturing. I mean, who really knows what's going on over in China or wherever this stuff is made. We already know that they're having problems getting stuff shipped out of there. They're doing everything they can to get stuff to their customers through back doorways and stuff. A lot of manufacturers are dealing with that because medical products and stuff are all being put to the front of the planes, being flown over, the ships are sitting off seas, everything like that. It's just a really bad time right now. When I see the word upgrade, that means something is supposed to be better. Not worse. And that's what we have here. I've just shown you multiple examples of that. Maybe they'll get it together. They'll figure everything out. But until then, I'm going to be flying rapid fire because it works and I don't have to worry about my screen breaking up and going and having to find my quad. I'll give up the race timer. Not a big deal. So anyway, guys, I hope this helps you out if in a buying decision. A lot of people don't have modules on their goggles, which is just super surprising. But again, we forget that people are coming to this hobby like every day. Like they don't even come with a module now. So it's like, what do you do? Just buy the cheapest one you can get to get in the air. I'm not 100% sure what's going on with that. So that's going to do it, guys. Thanks a lot. We will see you on the next video.